YouTube, it is your girl Fluffy, and if you haven't noticed, I'm a little twerk. <laughs> well, twerk for today because, um, well, I don't know, I tried to adjust it and it just keeps not coming out right. I, my head is way up here and my camera's not low enough. So anyway, I thought I'd just record you all uh, twerkle, okay? And if you don't know what twerkle means, it's Spanish for crooked, I think. Anyway, that's my Spanish, anyway. But anyhow, this is review time! Woohoo! Don't you just love when I do reviews? I know I do because I love giving you my feedback on products. As you all know, I have been promising you a review on the Real Technique brushes that I got a few weeks ago. Anywho, today's the day. Yes, I thought it'd be time. Considering I just did all this makeup and I thought, woohoo, yeah, I think I'm looking pretty good. And I might as well put all this makeup to use, right? <laughs> Because I don't know about you, but I tend to take my makeup off and that's the end of it. And I'm not really going anywhere, so, well, just thought I'd do this. If you would like to see a closer look up of this look that I created, please follow me on Instagram at Fluffy7285 and you can see how I created this look. I actually created this look from um, a sugar pill picture that I seen. And, of course, the model, of course, she's all... Airbrush and looks absolutely fabulous, but hey, this is my recreation and my interpretation of that sugar pill recreation. Again, follow me on Instagram at fluffy7285 and you can see the look. Um, except for in that pic, I have Lady Gaga lips on, and to, right now I changed it to Up the Amp by MAC. Okay, and so was the Lady Gaga MAC. Too. Okay, so let's get this review started. Okay, so as you all know, I had purchased and gotten um, some real technique brushes. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I, well, I'm messing around too much with my stuff, right? I'm just like, uh, adjust, adjust, okay. You need to start fidgeting, right? Okay, I'll stop now. Okay, so I have, what was I that? Oh, as I told you, I was gonna do a review on the real technique brushes. Now, I'm hopefully I got all of them in my hand here, but here they are. <laughs> I'm not sure if these are all of them right now because I just grabbed and just to, to see what I that I've used in the last couple of weeks. Now I have washed these brushes numerous times because I myself do not like uh, dirty brushes at all. I mean I probably use my brushes two or three times and then I'm fanatic about it and I go and I wash them. What I use to wash my brushes just in case you're wondering is basically just baby shampoo and sometimes every now and then I might sat it, I'll spritz them with a little bit of alcohol but I really don't like to do that because it really dries out my bristles so I really don't do that but I do wash them by hand each with um, just baby shampoo basically and sometimes a little bit of leave-in conditioner just to leave the brushes a little bit soft but really, I'm a really simple girl, but I, considering as much as I wash them, my brushes probably stay clean than most people who wash them once a week or every two weeks. Considering I wash mine about two or three times a week. Okay, so anyway, let's get it started. My favorite brush from the Real Techniques is, has to be this huge powder brush. Look how huge that is. And as you can see, I just used it today. It was clean up until today when I did my makeup. But yes. I love this powder brush. Oh my god. If you have don't, have not found the most fabulous powder brush for just to apply your loose powder, your um, I actually have a pan powder, you know, from Laura Geller, and I just swirl it in and then I just to set my makeup. I love this brush. It's absolutely fabulous. See how huge that is. This is the palm of my hand. Okay, I have a huge hand for a girl. I mean, for a girl, I'm pre got pretty 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 huge hands. Look. That is like this, almost the size of my palm. What I love about it is that it's kind of like a narrow brush on this side. It's not fluffy all the way around, but it has like some narrowness to it. But it's wide. So you can actually go in here like this, get into those little crevices, go into the roll, go in here, here, here. And get all the little spots and get in there and do all the little things you need to do. I love this brush. I don't know how I lived without it. If you're looking for a great, fabulous face powder at a reasonable price, I think this was $9.99 if I'm correct. This is a great price for a brush, and honestly, to tell you, I really do love it. Okay, the other brush that I got that I'm loving, loving, loving from Real Techniques is this uh, Real Techniques um, blusher brush. It has like a dome, like a round, like a dome filling, 
It's very narrow, but what I love about it is that it perfectly fits into my cachetas, into my cheeks. I love it. Like, perfectly fits in that zone. So we just go here and boom, there I go. My blush is perfectly set. Love it. It's absolutely fabulous. Again, I have washed these brushes numerous times since I've had them. And I have not, I have not had any shedding or any... Um, or any type of reaction to them because some people say that they can react to the bristles no 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 these brushes are super soft and very good really really love them okay let's see oh this one I just discovered a couple of days ago because I changed foundations I was using the Maybelline matte mousse foundation so I was using my Sedona lace brush to apply that foundation on but since I changed foundations I started using the true match um, liquid foundation which as you know the matte mousse one is in a little jar and you kind of have to like scoop it out or you could do what I do which is probably not good for you but I used to dip my brush into it and apply it that way but this I just get the foundation and I put a couple of dots everywhere and then I blend 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 love this brush for that it just just blends everything so good it's soft it's subtle um, it has some density to it so that way you get a firm but yet soft touch to make your foundation airbrush love it okay my other brush that I'm loving I love 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 is this setting brush oh my god this is what I'm using with my banana powder that I won from beautiful disaster and I dip it into my the cap with the, the banana powder in it and I swirl it out and I'm like two, 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 two. Yeah, loving this brush because I have been trying to, I have like brushes, I'm not saying I don't have brushes, but I was like trying to find one of my brushes that worked. None of them really satisfied me, but this one, oh my god, love it. If you're looking for a great setting brush for under eye, setting your under eye concealer, this is it. I am just loving it. Okay, so this brush is actually for contouring, for a... Uh, <laughs> but I'm not using it for that. You know what I'm using this for? For my face primer. I use Hard Candy's face primer. So I put a dab of it here, dip this into it, and I'm all... Yeah, I'm loving this for my setting my... Um, for applying my uh, face primer. Love this. You can also use this for contouring, which I probably will try this for contouring, but at this point in my life in this, I am using this for applying my uh, face primer. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay, now this is my, I am like loving, love, 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 because I am always trying to find eyeshadow brushes that blend flawlessly like literally flawlessly and I have like the hardest time finding one that I could say works like that I love it love it love it and sometimes I have to sit there with some brushes and I'm like blend 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 and I'm like still never done blending and I still feel like I have creases in my eyeshadows I feel like they're not blended but since I have found this I have been loving it I have been using it for my transition colors I use it for my blending I love, 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 love this brush, and this is the brush I am loving. Of course, it has eyeshadow because of the eyeshadow look that I did today. And let me see if I can get you what this is called. I think this is called the crease brush. It's called the deluxe crease brush, okay? Actually, this comes in a set, and I love this brush. I swear, I can... I got this look today. I did the pink and I blended that into my transition as my transition color. And then I went straight into cleaned off the bristles a little bit. Went in there with another purple. Then I went in and cleaned this brush and went in with another purple. I mean, this but this brush just performs absolutely fabulous. And I honestly I want another one. I want a few of these bad boys because these brushes are awesome. I cannot speak as Oh my god, I really love this brush. I do, I do, I do, I do. I mean, oh my god. I cannot talk bad about Real Technique brushes. I really can't. I've been super impressed. Okay, here's another Real Technique brush that I love. Okay, I use, uh, I have a couple of eye primers that I use, and one of them is the BH. And if you know BH Cosmetics has their primer in a little jar, not in a, and I hate the idea of sticking my fingers in it. So I was always using a brush, but I can never find one that I actually like to use to dip into it and but I found this one it was my real techniques brush 
And this is for actually that, to apply your eye primer. Oh, I put it for my brows, all the way around my eyes, all the way under, and then I totally blend out. This performs fabulous, and it saves me on product, because I'm not wasting product. I love it. It's saving me money. I love it. Okay. I'm going to go back on these other little brushes that are here. Uh, la, la, la. I have been using these for detail work. I like to do a lot of little detail work underneath my eyes, in my tear duct, and you know, I'm constantly doing a lot of detail work, and because my eyes are small, I need small brushes, because big brushes really don't work in there. Yes, I know this one might be a little bit big, but honestly, it works for me. But these are the other little detail brushes that I've been using from The Real Techniques. This one I was using for in my tear duct to apply the yellow in my eye. Love it, love it, love it. Here I'm like using this one here just to go underneath my eye to apply shadow underneath it perfectly for that. Here's a liner brush. Now this liner brush is a little bit big. It is, but I use it again. I still use it to apply those eyeshadows underneath my eye. Love it for that. And here is their brow pencil, their brow shadow brush. I've used this too. All I did was kind of like squeeze the tip a little bit just to make it a little bit thinner for my own personal taste. And for my brows, there we go. All right, you too. If I haven't spoken, absolutely, if you didn't get my review and what I just said, everything about these Real Technique brushes are fabulous. I love them. If you haven't purchased them, you need to. I say go to the website and get yourself all of them. <laughs> I, I, I almost got all of them. I need a couple of more to add to my collection, and it will be complete. But honestly, to tell you the truth, what I have, I would love to get another one of these. I would love to get another one of these. And I would love to get a couple of more of them. They're absolutely fabulous. So if you can't afford to get, like, the Sedona Lace. Well, Sedona Lace is pretty reasonable in my book, but if you can't afford to get the MAC brushes and you can't afford to get the Sigma brushes, the next best thing to me is the Real Technique. These are also brought to you by a guru here on YouTube, which honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't know her name. And her name is on these brushes. I think her name is Samantha Chapman or Choyman or something like that. Anyhow, she's a YouTuber, so she created these brushes. <sighs> Thank you, girlfriend. But anyhow, as you can tell, I love, love, love my Real Technique brushes. And if you have, need some brushes, go check out Ulta.com. And they usually have sales on these. Buy one, get one half off. I didn't get the deal. I was just like, let me buy them already. I want them. And yeah, so I got them. I was not going to turn back on it. Um, but anyway, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this review. I love Real Technique brushes. And again, if you're looking for it, some great brushes at a reasonable price because they do come in sets and they do come in individuals like these are individuals and these are some of these come in sets like as these are in sets here and then some of these here are in sets also as you can see um, but yeah and this one was separate too but some of the separate ones are worth it and some of them you're just gonna have to find out all right, YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my subscribers and my followers. You guys are absolutely fabulous. Love you all. Peace out from your girl, Fluffy. And I'll check you out on my next video, which should be about my Sedona Lace review. Mwah.